I do mystery school. So I'm thinking, at some point, you have to start asking yourself, have we all drank the same water? Like, just think about how many different civilizations that we've been taught that there were in the past. How many, you know, millions of years or how many other years this, these simulations have been running and resetting. And we, we have this ambiguous body of water that can be a solid, a liquid, and a gas as well. Now, I'm going to say some outrageous shit, but I was thinking about this the other day. Like, is fire a form of water or does fire need water to exist now in most forms you need a form of liquid to you know start a fire like gasoline you know when you have a lighter you need gasoline and the lighter to strike that flame when you're in the woods you have your flint you know you have your um, whatever you're going to use to start your fire, you striking your flint to start the fire, but you, you're you getting the fire from the air around us. And in the air around us, you have moisture, you have water everywhere. But then the paradox here is that when you have an uncontrolled fire, you need water to put it out. But when you blow out a smoke when you blow out uh, I mean a fire you get smoke but isn't smoke a form of vapor because again just how you can pull um, hydrogen out of the air from around us you have the smoke that comes when you blow out fire so that smoke exists in the environment of hydrogen but also with water, I believe that since we all drink it and we actually need it, we're made of 70% of it, it passes information from one person to the other when we drink it because we drink it, we urinate it, um, it, it goes in the toilet and then it goes you know, to the different locations, but then they filter it, I'm guessing, and then more people drink it. I, I try not to think about it. But anyway, I believe that you can pass information, you can pass um, like DNA information even, like through water. I mean, if you name all the elements and then think about how many of them need water to exist, it's interesting. And if it's in the air all around us, that means it has to be more than two hydrogen and one oxygen. 5D, 5D Mystery School. School.